What has songwriting got to do with volunteering and why should helping Jewish people make Aliyah lead us to worship? This is Aliyah News. Last summer, during our Shavuot outreach initiative, many volunteers travelled around Europe sharing about Alia. One of the groups spent some of their time in a small coastal village in Denmark. Sarah explains how this led them to write a worship song, which God continues to use to touch the hearts of specific individuals. But first, let's hear from Katie, as she shares how her experience of volunteering led her and an international team to develop a worship album specifically focused on Alia. Hi, uh, my name is Katie and I am part of the team that has put together the Promise Worship Album, Ebenezer's first ever worship album. And it is solely dedicated to songs of intercession and worship that are focused on Israel and the Aliyah. I want to share with you today how this all started for me. Uh, a young adult in Australia, a long way away from Israel and a long way away from Russia and the Ukraine, which is predominantly where the work of Ebenezer began. Um, I didn't like the cold, I, I still don't love the snow, and I was quite surprised to find myself volunteering for a period in Russia. And uh, for me, this journey started back in 2010. I had an opportunity to go with some young people and discover what this fishing was all about, where teams from Ebenezer would go into the Jewish communities and would share about the possibility to move back to Israel. And I remember one instance in particular in Moscow, and we were asked to get up really early one morning to go and help a family who were arriving by train, and they had traveled for three days by train to then catch their Aliyah flight back to Israel. Uh, on that particular morning, I was feeling a little bit tired and sleepy. It was really cold, at least minus 15 degrees Celsius. And I was saying to God that morning, God, why, why have you got me here? What am I really doing here? What, what are you showing me? You know, the Lord meets us in our lowest and our weakest moments. And the train pulled in to the platform. The translator who was with us said, come, here's the family. And they pointed out this uh, couple who were in their 60s and then the mother of the husband who was a hundred, hundred years old, making Aliyah, moving from the far east of Russia back to her homeland in Israel. And as I looked at this elderly lady, my sister and I realized that she wouldn't be able to get out of the carriage on her own. We stood side by side and she put her, her arm over our shoulders. We lowered her from the carriage down to the platform. And in that moment, the Holy Spirit brought to my heart this scripture. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up my hands to the nations and set up a banner to the people and they will bring your sons in their arms and your daughters will be carried on their shoulders. That's from Isaiah, written thousands of years ago. And I realized in this moment, I was touching prophecy coming to life in my day. So as the years passed, uh, my heart for worship and intercession began to grow. And I could see how key prayer was in the ministry of Ebenezer. There was a team of us who did the worship for the international conference in Jerusalem a few years ago. We realized there was no real worship specifically around the Aliyah uh, with scriptures from Isaiah and Jeremiah brought into song. So our heart for the Promise Project was to bring worship that would help in these prayer groups to bring the focus onto the Lord and to give Him glory for the work that He's doing in Zion today. Hi, my name is Sarah and I was part of the Shavuot Outreach last year and our team of seven travelled through Germany, Denmark, Sweden and Norway. During part of our trip, we were able to visit a small fishing village in Gilalai where during Nazi occupation, many locals took their boats in the middle of the night to smuggle Jewish people to safety in Sweden. We are here in Gilalai and in this church, the pastor would hide 80 Jewish people under the roof. So it's great to see Christians involved in saving Jewish lives. And then later, uh, more than 1,000 Jews were saved here. So brave fishermen 
1943, they risked their lives and bring, they brought Jewish people back to Sweden from that place and they rescued their, them. And we should learn from the courage to even risk our own life uh, to save one Jewish life. When we continued our trip in Sweden, we decided to take some time to worship along the shores where these Jewish people had been received. And as we were standing in these distant coastlands, many miles away from Israel, we read the scripture in Jeremiah 31, which says, Hear the word of the Lord, you nations. Proclaim it in the distant coastlands. He who scattered Israel will gather them and will watch over his flock like a shepherd. As we began to sing these promises, a song was formed. Some weeks later, as Johannes played the lyric video during a meeting in France, he met a lady who God was speaking to in a very special way. One evening I was speaking and uh, because we did not have so much time, I was not sure should I show the song or not. So last minute I decided to show the song. And then when I showed it, she almost started to cry. And then she shares her story. She was in summer, exactly at this place. When she was there, she meets a Jew uh, who was fleeing uh, from Ukraine. And he starts to speak with her about Israel. So she started to get interest in Israel. You know, she sits in the meeting and sees this spot. Sometimes God does things you don't understand why you, why you do it or why you go to a place, you know. And so uh, I just want to encourage you. You know, the Lord could do it without us. He doesn't need us, but he chooses to let us join with him, whether that be practical help uh, on a platform in Russia or whether it be in a prayer group in Australia so far away, both equally important, both equally key in partnering with God in what he's doing today. Being involved in Alia means that our teams across the world are constantly witnessing the miracles that God performs when bringing his people home to Israel. Whether it be lost ancestral documents, suddenly being found, anonymous financial donations which exactly meet the needs for airfare tickets or shipment payments or the hearts of Jewish people turning towards Israel. Watching these miracles can only lead us into a place of worship. Ebenezer's first worship album called The Promise is now available on all major streaming platforms and you can find the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest reports of Worldwide Aliyah.